What about uh, fragmentation? So this is sort of the, the double-edged sword of when you're talking about an HTML5 app is you're also kind of thinking uh, it sort of isn't necessarily a web app. It might not be delivered over the web. It might be delivered in, in PhoneGap or something else. Um, but all of a sudden you've got, you're just playing in a much bigger world. So it's like if you're just developing iOS native apps, it's not that fragmentation doesn't exist there. You're just completely ignoring the issue mm. by only developing for one. But that's not even true necessarily. I mean, iPad, iPhone, iPhone Retina, I mean, there's fragmentation in iOS's ecosystem. Sure. It's not I, as rampant it's as not we as see rampant. in yeah. Android where there's like a million devices. But, yeah. Right, but if you were just going to develop a, a, a website specifically mm -hmm. for iPhone, it'd be a much easier job. But yes. nobody would ever do that. Because no. it's a different world, right? Because, You're, I mean, in the web, you develop yeah. for as broad an audience as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. I find myself, like, just playing a little devil's advocate, but I find myself, I go to caniuse.com all the time, and once in a while I'll see, like, you know, there's a feature and it's not available on, you know, a certain phone. Ah, I want to use that feature. So you, you know, do. And so I do. And then, right. you know, try and have like a good experience right. for the guy who doesn't have that right. feature. But um, yeah, yeah, some kind of progressive enhancement or, or fail gracefully. Fail gracefully, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And I don't think developers are that uh, concerned about not, not uh, serving um, or not uh, using features for individual platforms. I think, you know, I, I mean, looking at the data that we have now, there's so few developers who just concentrate on one one platform, one OS. Hmm. Uh, I mean, even among people who target uh, iOS, I think about 65% of them also do Android development. A very really? large number do wow. Android development. I'm surprised by that. Yeah, so it sounds right. like it sounds like what you're saying is <clears throat> it's not really an either or proposition. It's not a zero sum game. You've got more. You basically have more developers developing for more platforms. Yeah. And in fact, many, many developers actually use native code in their HTML5 apps. There, there are uh, about half of developers use native code in their HTML5 apps, uh, mostly for UI purposes. Mm -hmm. But uh, so, so it's not a... They're using HTML5 for the UI and native code for... For native code to, 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 uh, to more approximate the, the, the natural look and feel or... Oh, of an environment. This is a problem with something like PhoneGap because it, it gets blurry. Someone will be like, oh, you're a web guy on the web versus native fight. And it's like, well, yeah, but you know, the PhoneGap project lets you publish native apps and we have plugins and we probably write more native code than anyone. Na native app development is not going to go away. Uh, nope. The rise of HTML5 uh, development does not mean that native development will go down. They're exactly. really complementary. Yep. And it's a, it's a misconception to think that one will win out over another. Thank you.